Hi, in this video I would like to show you how the new uh, release of the service server <coughs> works, how the new form builder works and how this relates to Smash. <coughs> so, um, first thing, let's log in into the server instance. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, if you are enabled to uh, create new forms, you uh, will have this form builder here. And let's have a look in the configuration. This is the Django configuration with which you can also configure your project. <coughs> there is a group that's called form builders and your users should be <coughs> uh, registered uh, to that group, otherwise, the, the menu will not appear. Uh, what we're going to do today is uh, work mainly on forms uh, and forms you might not know. Um, let's load one. Uh, this is a test form I created. This is the builder to actually create forms as you know them in Smash probably. This is the usually example. That's how you sample nodes in a structured way. So what we did now is with this form builder, finally somebody put a budget on it and we are able to just create uh, in a nice way forms. Let's create a new one, uh, video form. So that starts as an empty thing. You can add uh, sections like tabs. So let's say general data. And uh, here, I'm oh, sorry. And when you select it, you can here add single widgets. I don't know. There are uh, basic ones and uh, also some examples. Let's say we add a uh, string widget, a time, uh, and a date. Okay, so it adds them in the, in the way you select them, but you can just also drag them around. To configure the single, um, the single widgets, um, you can drag and enter edit mode. So you, what you need is a unique key. This unique key will uh, be the, the name of the field of the PostGIS table that is generated. And that's what I want to show you later. So let's say name uh, and here operator, I can add a label and we can use it as map label if we want to. And if you want to set <clears throat> a default value, because you know it will be you serving, then you can just do like that. At that point, it is set. Mm. Um, the same goes for the date. Survey date. And you can also set a default value if you select one, otherwise you can leave it empty. Uh, let's say you write survey with a space, since this will be uh, keys and fields of the database, it requires you to first don't have spaces in it and also don't have the same name. If there is already a key like that, it will tell you where and actually this would be time, so it's fine. Survey time. Good. So let's show you, I didn't do this before, sorry. Let me just show you in the database. That's the local one. I'm running the service server locally. 
and what I want to show you is that right now a new there are the for each form you create in the form builder uh, something named form layers and the name of the form would be generated and this will reflect exactly the type uh, the all the the columns that you have in the form plus some additional uh, which is the geometry we will see it in a second uh, the creation timestamp the last edit timestamp the user that created the um, feature and the last timestamp uh, modification timestamp okay if I now save this and wait the form to be saved and refresh here <coughs> we will be able to see the changes so as you can see three fields have been added that are exactly the fields we added here the top is not actually uh, uh, a field because it's just a structure of the form so what happens is you will have a form which is saved in the forms table uh, if I find them here as you can see there is the new form created in the form builder plus uh, the definition the JSON definition of the form but then for each form a table is created and you can then survey in the classic way which means you download the form and you put notes on it then it will be saved in the uh, notes table as usual which is this and you will have your form in them but you can also uh, synchronize and this is the new thing you can synchronize two ways synchronize uh, the the layers directly using forms so um, let's do this very simple let's add one other thing I don't know pictures and sorry and let's add pictures like a picture from a camera and a sketch um, since I don't have other stuff I, I just leave well I could say picture and just to have it nicer in the database table and sketch and that's it once I save uh, let's do this one more time and I refresh I will find two new fields which are actually uh, blobs like bytes because it's image data all right uh, I can also uh, rename the form actually right now if you rename the form it will warn you that if there are data in the table that uh, data will get lost so this might be something we want to uh, be careful or in future maybe we have to manually we use the migration system of Django so this is what happens right now and then you can create open an existing form or you can duplicate the form just to um, uh, start from a template okay then there is this part here uh, this defines if usually these ones you might want to leave them on it adds extra info which allows you to what you've seen before to have timestamps and users that created or updated you can select the geometry type uh, because while classic notes are just uh, points here you can really work on geometries and last but not least uh, this one allow you can disable the form so that uh, since when you delete a form also the table is erased uh, you might just want to disable it in that case it won't be shown in the client side on the mobile side and the last thing is if you want to show the client the form in the client uh, project data which means in the classical node uh, doing thing, a way of doing things okay once you have this 
and let's have a look also here now we have this this is the JSON that got created as you can see whoever used uh, forms for smash or geoparazzi knows the structure now finally we have this nice way of doing things good uh, let's head to smash I I already have my project loaded so I'm connecting locally uh, you could have different configurations saved and I'm logged so I just can head in this new section and select GSS layers so what happens then is uh, you get a list of the layers you want to load let's say we want to work just on video form and then you can decide whether to download all the data or download only your user data or don't download anything at all this might be uh, important when uh, you don't want to overwrite stuff so let's say uh, in this case it doesn't really matter since I just have no data in it so once the layer is loaded I can head to my map view enter editing mode and just put a note in here and as you can see I will have my default value let's say the survey date is today time is today and I'm on desktop so I'm not able to take picture from the camera because I have none and so I'm going to save let's just quickly change the properties of this to something a bit more visible uh, also I want to uh, activate a label you can do this here and as label I want to take uh, the name okay perfect uh, let's add another one and another survey date just to do something let's save exit and then I can just upload my changes it will tell me what is new what will be modified and what will be deleted so I can upload let me take this back and now I have my uh, data here um, okay so just to make sure we got that if I want to re-import and I say I don't want to download anything because I want to create new I can do just that it will when you download the layer and the layer exists it will override it and at that point I have nothing here I can quickly enter a new thing under a tool just to make sure we save it and go back upload changes it's here and if I remove the layer so I simulate that someone else is going to download this let's say I want to download everything or in this case also user data would have oops I didn't select the layer uh, but in this case I'm the only user that created it so it's going to overwrite and I will have everything in it um, I think that's kind of ah okay um, one thing if you are not into the server side but you're just doing service on your own uh, 
you can enable in the down here the form builder it's not enabled by default you can enable it and you will find it at that point uh, down here so you can also now locally build uh, your forms for example I'm just picking one example you can just load your JSON forms and you can work on them the same way new tab and just add new widgets as I shown you before uh, then you can just save it in this case it will obviously save it locally and well that's uh, kind of it I think that covered the most of it so I hope you will enjoy these new features and see ya